Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakodash, and also double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day, that is continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and also Shalom to the whole elect that's continually plowing in his work and giving you due diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith and in truth and also in sincerity and also in all charity. Now, the topic of this video is going to be entitled, The Wedding is About to Begin. And what I mean by that is that our Lord, who these people are really call Jesus, in which his true name is Yahweh Shai, along with the Heavenly Father, in which his name, which is in the ancient Hebrew, his true name is Yahweh, who these people inwardly call God and Yahweh. The, the wedding that's about to commence or is about to begin is the marriage between the nation of Israel. OK, contrary to popular belief, because you got people that say that all the nations are going to be joined until Yahweh Shai. No, that's not the case. Only the nation of Israel is going to be joined unto our Lord all right because first and foremost our Lord came out of the tribe of Judah out of the nation of Israel all right and on top of that there's other scriptures in the New Testament that completely you know it, it debunks that uh, the doctrine saying that all nations can be joined unto this uh, covenant because the covenant that was given to us was only given to the nation of Israel all right it wasn't given to any other nation okay <clears throat> Because if you read throughout the scriptures, it gives you a history or a, a, um, a flashback of and, and it keeps reiterating the, the events that happened when we came out of the land of Egypt. Because when we came out of the land of Egypt, that covenant was made with the nation of Israel. All right. When Moses went on top of Mount Sinai and, and uh, brought the nation of Israel or the sons of Israel, uh, the commandments. All right. The law statutes and commandments that the Lord laid down. On tablets, tablets of stone. All right. <clears throat> and that was the covenant that the Lord gave us. And we broke that covenant. All right. And now the Lord has sent forth his son. To reestablish that covenant. Between Israel. And the most high. Because the Yahweh Shai is the mediator. Between us and the most high. All right. So it's through him. That that covenant. And he reestablished that covenant. So now. We can continue to be his chosen people. We can continue to uh, have the, the lot of governing the entire planet Earth and to serve our Lord and Master, Yahweh Shai, and also the Heavenly Father, uh, the Ancient of Days, which is Yahweh. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the precepts. I'm not going to make this too long. Um <clears throat> First, I want to start off with uh, Jeremiah. Actually, let me fix this. Jeremiah, the third chapter in the uh, 14th verse. It says, turn or backsliding children. All right. Now, this, this is talking about Israel. Say if the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemuel Shai, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family. And I will bring you to Zion. Right. Because I did a video on that before about Zion. All right. This, uh, it starts with uh, the house of David Alright If you go into the history of Zion It was known as the, the city of David Alright So again it says Turn on backsliding children Save the Lord Yahweh about Shemuel Shaphir I am married unto you Right And and really if you go into uh, marriage Marriage is a contract between two parties Alright so you have one party that's uh, married unto another party. All right. So they, they have an agreement and a contract between each other and they come together. All right. That's what it means to be married. OK. I mean, even in today's today's terms, um, when you have a, a, a business in a company, you can marry uh, marry that company unto another and they become one company. All right. So it said once again, so if I am married unto you and I will take you one of a city and two of a family. Oh, and by the way, marriage, only way the marriage is done by way of contract. All right. There's got to be a contract or an agreement 
between those two parties for them to come together and make that marriage possible. Now, with us, that contract and that agreement between us and the Most High is now is by way of Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. All right. Why? Because before we had the lost as commandments and we we're supposed to keep them. But now, since we're in this captivity, we can't keep them. So now it was, it was up to Yahweh Shai to bring us back to the Most High. All right. And through that. We're going to be brought back into the marriage and brought, be brought back together with the Most High again. We're going to be reconciled. Okay. That says, uh, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. All right. Verse 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what's happening right now. Because now you got the servants of the Lord <clears throat> that's calling out to, uh, to our nation, the nation of Israel to the hopeful elect to come and attend the marriage. All right. To attend the marriage ceremony. Like it, if you go into the, uh, the book of Matthews, uh, it speaks of uh, the Lord spoke about a parable of the, of our Lord having a, uh, having a wedding ceremony. All right. And he commanded his servants to go out on the highways and hedges and bid and bid them to come in. And that's exactly what we're doing. All right. Now this is uh Jeremiah. Same chapter, Jeremiah third chapter in the uh, first verse. It says, they say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? And that's what I mentioned earlier about us breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. Because once we did that, that that basically uh, he, he punished us. The Most High punished us by, by uh, having us being led into captive into these other nations. All right. <clears throat> and we continually went off. So once again, it says if a man put away his wife in which we were married unto the most high. All right. And then we were punished. We were put away for a time. All right. And then it says, and she go from him and become another man's. Shall he return to her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. And that's right. Israel has played the harlot with many lovers. All right. <clears throat> Israel has played the harlot with, with, uh, the, the Moabites, the, uh, the Ishmaelites, the Hamites, especially the Hamites. All right, the Canaanites, which are which are Hamites, and now they're playing uh, playing a harlot with with uh, the Edomites. Now in this time, all right. So again, it says, "But thou hast played the har the harlot with many lovers." All right, but guess what? The Lord says, "The Lord says, yet return again to me." saith ye how about Shemuel Shai so the Lord still to this very time he still wants us to return to him man and that's his his that's that's how much mercy and long suffering that he has for the nation of Israel all right that and that and that goes to show you that the length that ye how about Shemuel Shai would even go to even have us to, to to even tell us to come back to him because he's the most high man he's the most high he he can do whatever he want to do but yet he's telling us to come back to him man all right. That's beautiful, man. That's, 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 you know, that's, that's amazing, man. Hey, call Halal Yahweh by Shemuel Shai that the Lord still gave us a chance to come back to him, man. All right. So going from there, uh, I want to get the book of Luke, the first chapter. And I need to be wrapping this up here in a little bit. Um, Luke, the first chapter, because I got to go back to the plantation. Uh, Luke, the first chapter in the, um, yeah, I'm going to start the 69th verse. It says, and hath raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Now, and that's what I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that the Lord is bringing us back into Zion. All right. It said, the, Lord, the Lord says, return all backsliding children for I am married unto you and I will bring you into to Zion. All right. So again, it says, and have raised up a horn of salvation, right? And that horn means power. All right. Horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Right. And that's a mystery. All right. You know, I'm not going to go too deep into that because we already know what that's talking about. Uh, 71, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Right. Because all these other nations, they, they, they hate us with a passion. OK, that's why they haven't they spared not to take advantage of our people. All right. And that's and that's going to the parable of uh, Lazarus and the rich man. All right. Which Lord's will, you know, I may do a video on that at another time. 
Uh, this is at verse uh, 72. It says to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. And that's right. The most high Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahshai has remembered his covenant that he made with the house of Israel. All right. He remembered that promise that he made to Abraham, unto Isaac and unto Jacob. OK. Uh, verse 73 says the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he will grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And that's what our Lord wants, man. All right. <clears throat> our Lord wants us to come back to him and to serve him in, in fullness, man. All right. <clears throat> and um, actually, before I close up, because I need to be going back here in just a minute. Um. Uh, Now, uh, the Jeremiah, the 31st chapter and the uh, 31st verse is also in the book of Hebrews. Let me read this one. Uh, Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, the 31st verse. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemuel Shai, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Right. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. All right. Verse 32. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. See, so we broke that first covenant that we came when we came out of the land of Egypt. All right. And he will in the most high. Yahweh by Shemuel Shah was a husband unto us. All right. We were joined unto the Lord as a husband and a, and a wife because the Lord looks at the nation of Israel as a calmly and delicate woman. All right. So, again, this is not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. And he's talking about these last days that we're living in right now. Okay. Saith the Lord, I will put my law into their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their power and they shall be my people. So the Lord is going to allow his words, his laws, his statutes, his commandments. Everything about Yahweh about Shemuel Shai is going to put those into our inward parts to where we will never, ever in our lives go off ever again to transgress his words ever again. All right. And that's the greatest gift that you can ever give an Israelite at all, man, to never transgress and to go back through the, the, the harsh hill that we went through back during the times of history when we was taken into these different nations. All right. And actually and serve him in fullness, man. All right. And be at peace. Verse 34, it says, and they shall teach no, no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. All right. So everybody's going to know you how about Shemuel Shai. There's not going to be anybody out there teaching, teaching, you know, prophesying because everything's going to be said and done already. There's going to be no need. Everybody's going to know the Lord. Okay. But with that, I'm going to end off on that note. And Lord's will, this was edifying to the, the members of the whole elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. Also, Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect that is laboring this work, giving it your all in this, in this truth, this ministry, and spreading this gospel to the other members of the whole elect in faith and in truth and also in sincerity. And with that, I'm going to